Hello again, this is a chapter 8 video and we're going to be looking at an internal and external view of the network project. We're also going to give a critique of the project in its current state. Uh, in later videos we're going to look at improving it, but this one we're just going to learn a little bit about the project. So it is a small prototype type network, a social network, a bit like Facebook, it supports news feeds with posts and also uh, text, text posts and photo posts. So there's two kinds of uh, posts which it stores, these mes message posts and these photo posts which store a photo and a caption. Um, it allows operations on the post like searching and displaying and removing of those particular posts. What I'd like you to do now is pause the video and have a look at 8.1 8.2 investigation of the network project. Okay, hopefully you've had a quick look at it and you've uh, worked out that it's going to look something like this. There's two sets of objects which can be created by the message post and photo post classes. Class diagrams look a little bit like this for the message post and photo post. Now at this point here you're going to say, see that it's, it's quite similar. Some of the fields and some of the methods are quite similar. In fact there's a lot of duplication by looking at the class diagram there. The network Object model is going to look a little bit like that. So you've got your newsfeed class, which is created, and the newsfeed class has an array list of type message posts where it's got a number of different message posts in it. The photos has got a, uh, or the newsfeed has got another field called photos, and in that, uh, which is an array list of type photo posts, and in that there's a number of different photo posts. And the class diagram ultimately looks like that. So let's have a look at that in BlueJ. So here's our class diagram. So let's have a quick look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause recording and then jump so you can see a completed version. So here I have created three objects, all of each of the types there, news feed, message post, and photo post type. So what I do at this point here is I can right click on the news feed object, add a message, and then add my message post like that. Okay, and then I can then add a photo post and then add my photo post there. I can then show what's happened. So I've created two posts there, one by Chris, which is this normal post, and then one by Tim, which is a photo post. Now at the moment this particular class doesn't implement seeing pictures and we're only using the terminal anyway, so that just gives a folder location for the file in question. So that's what it does. Let's have a quick look underneath the surface. It's pretty straightforward really. Uh, we've got a number of fields for photo posts. Um, nothing too abnormal here. We've got a long timestamp, uh, which we're going to look at in a second, and then an array list of comments. The timestamps are in the in the constructor, it's fairly straightforward. The timestamp is then created using this class and this method. Now if you have a look in the API which I've got open here, you'll see that the class which is used, uh, system which is used for our system.out and system.in which we've used previously, uh, we should have a look for current time, uh, we'll see the method there and that returns the current time in milliseconds. Now the time it returns is the difference, this is the epoch of Java and there's different epochs of different um, operating systems and systems but this one is January the 1st 1970 so it's the difference in, in second milliseconds between now and then so that's what that will return that will return that in a long because that'll be a reasonably big big number and then we've uh, we assign our array list uh, of type string we've got a, a likes which is similar to the uh, the likes in the previous project which we looked at which was the the vote up which is similar to the vote up so we've got likes uh, we've got an unlike section, um, unlike modifier. There we've then got an add comments modifier where we can add a comment for that. A get image file, which we just simply return the file name. That's just a getter. A get caption, another uh, getter there, which returns the caption, and then another getter for this timestamp. We've then got a display class or display method, which doesn't do anything too clever. Just a fairly simple print method, which prints out the file name and caption of the particular photo post. Um, we then have a number of uh, where it looks at the, the likes. Um, to see whether anyone likes it. If no one likes it, then it doesn't print. It uh, doesn't, nothing happens in that point there. Um, looks to see if the comments is empty. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll put the amount of comments that has been made on that thing. 
Uh, we then got to the time string, which will, um, as shown there, create its dream scrum in the time point in the, in, um, from, from the point in 1970, which we talked about till now. So that needs to convert everything into days, um, milliseconds, and seconds, etc. So that's the photo post class. Message post class is now very, very similar. So if we have a look at this, we'll see that the fields are all very, very similar. The constructor does pretty much the same thing. Um, and then we've got uh, very similar getters and setters. Uh, in fact, the display is very similar as well. And then the time string is also ex extremely similar to the previous one. The newsfeed class, well, the newsfeed class doesn't have as many methods, not as many getters or setters as the other one, uh, but it does have an add message post and an add photo post. It also has this void show, so it will show all photo messages and all uh, all message um, posts and all photo posts. It will show and it uses these two for each loops to do that. So here's a quick look at the two. So this is a concise version of the two. So if we compare message post and photo post, we see that there's lots and lots of fields which are absolutely identical. Um, and in fact, some of it is just exactly the same. Um, if we have a look at newsfeed, again, we've got some duplication of text there where we've got two for loops there, and we'll show how we can get around that duplication in a later video. So in summary, it's pretty, uh, pretty poor in terms of code duplication. There's lots and lots of code duplication there, and those parts are identical. It, that, this would make maintenance very, very difficult. So if you wanted to add a specific thing to one of these posts, for message posts and for photo posts, um, then it would be very difficult to do that. For example, you might want to add the picture of the person who put the post. That means you'd have to change the two classes to do that. Uh, it also introduces the danger of bugs through incorrect maintenance. So it, again, it could, could be tricky to work on because it's um, because of the duplication. We also see that there's code duplication in the newsfeed class in that using the two for loops and using the two different array, lips, array lists, which we do not have to use. In the next video in this series, we're going to show you what's the best way around this duplication and how um, in, in, um, in programming we use something called inheritance to get over that. See you then.